You know, you're a big motherfucker. All the wear and tear that you're putting on this house, I mean, good. just leaning on the walls, you're putting holes in them. And I got to fix this shit myself. Yeah, Cause I don't want to so see your big ass. is not ready yet. I have to get out of here. What's the boy to do if I'll never be a gangster? You've never been out there? People are going to try to use you. Yours is ready, big man. He prophesized you. Well, I'm a Virgo, and Virgos love adventure. Thanks. Never moved Oh, man. I didn't even know that. All right, so that was apparently the new series from Amazon Prime called I'm a Virgo, which is created by Boots Rowley, who creates all of these crazy, wild concepts uh, his last film was his last film with Lakeith Stanfield it was called well, his last film was called Sorry to Bother You with Lakeith Stanfield it was a really weird, weird film about you know a person that's going through their 9 to 5 trying to come up uh, black people having to like coach switch and everything and going up and the way they interact with other black people that's trying to come up themselves it was a really unique but crazy and weird film. If you're into that type of stuff, like if you're into like different concepts of film, then I would recommend uh, Sorry to Bother You because I thought it was really good. And it's very experimental. And he's doing something here. He's very experimental too. He got this uh, boy right here. I remember him from Moonlight and he was in uh, that series about uh, the kids from... Uh, that park central park if you remember him he was a really good actor uh i sure remember his name but he was a really good actor and i was hoping to see him in some other stuff and he's here with boots riley which is interesting you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of clifford the big red dog remember <laughs> remember clifford the big red dog he was like a little small red puppy and then he grew all of a sudden out of nowhere this is like the same thing except they're doing something totally different and I'm not, I need y'all to help me out because I'm not really into Zodiac signs like that. So when he says, I'm a Virgo, like what do they mean? What do he mean by I'm a Virgo? What, like tell me what being a Virgo equals to him being a big ass dude in here. Like it has to be some type of meaning to it. Boost Riley always has some type of symbolism some meaning to his movies especially like no matter how ridiculous it goes it always has some type of message in it and i'm really curious what that message is about i didn't look at no plots nothing like that i always try not to because i want to be surprised when i see the movie but i want y'all to help me out like take a guess on what you think the movie's about with the title i'm a virgo with uh the main guy being a giant like, this is so crazy, which is what Boots Riley good at. Also, we see Mike Epps. We seen uh, my guy that was in that Netflix series. I forgot. Oh, uh, I'm, on, I'm on the block or something like that. I'm not completely sure. But, yeah, it looked like it's going to be a series. I thought it was going to be a movie, but it's going to be a series. And hopefully it's coming out sooner rather than later. I don't think it gave a date. But, um, yeah, I'm excited for it, which is why I'm reacting to it. So, make sure to like this video. Comment down below your thoughts on I'm a Virgo. Tell me your thoughts and feelings on it down in the comment section down below. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be the first to see my new content. All right, y'all. Peace.